And there have been reports of apparitions and people getting physically touched and pushed by unseen forces. What will we discover tonight when we investigate the Borley Churchyard? Stay tuned to find out. Borley is famously known for being the home of Borley Rectory, a building that was given the title the most haunted house in England. At the rectory many strange goings on were reported by the Ball family, the first family to have lived there. They claimed to have experienced poltergeist activity as in the apparition of a nun. The house was purchased by Harry Price, a world famous paranormal investigator in 1937. He spent much of his time documenting the ghostly incidences that occurred at that rectory. The building was unfortunately destroyed by fire in 1939 under suspicious circumstances. Some people say the fire was caused by the ghosts that were said to haunt there. The rectory isn't the only haunted place in Borley. The church and graveyard are also said to be some of the most haunted in Britain. Harry Price performed a few investigations here, but due to the high profile case of the rectory, it got overlooked. say that's in apparitions here in the churchyard. Around the back of the church, right here, people say they've been pushed and touched by unseen forces. Are these evil spirits doing this, or lost souls looking for attention? There definitely is a kind of strange feeling about this churchyard. You know, most of the churches we go to are are quite peaceful and quite um, calm, but this one is just a certain thing about it. I don't know, I can't explain it. It's really sort of dull and gloomy, and it just doesn't feel very welcoming here. Um, I don't know if this is down to like spiritual energies and stuff, or if this is just um, the way it looks and uh, the stories I know behind it. Either way, it really is quite a uh, groovy place. Loads of ghost hunters that come here every day um, looking for the spirits that are supposed to be here. And because of this, they've had to take measures like padlocking the uh, church itself shut, installing CCTV, um, they've had to put bars over the windows to stop people breaking them. Um, because unfortunately, a lot of people do come here uh, quite disrespectful to the church and the residents that live around here, um, which is quite sad really because it's made respectful people like ourselves. Um, itself is supposed to be very haunted. Um, there's been reports of poltergeist activity in there and there's been voices heard inside there as well. Uh, footsteps have been heard. All sorts of stuff goes on inside the church. Now we won't be able to get inside there tonight unfortunately um, because as you can see obviously like I mentioned earlier they've put bars on the window, they've locked the doors and ghost hunters just aren't allowed inside these churches um, because if they let one group of ghost hunters in they'd have to let them all in and uh, yeah it just become overrun. So that's why we can't get inside. But yeah, it is an extremely haunted church. Some people even go as far as to say it's the most haunted in Britain. Um, unfortunately, we'll never find out. of um, a bull. I can't read the name but the Ball family were the uh, one of the first families to own the Borley Rectory. Um, the, the main reason why this village is well known. Um, and here he is buried. Um, looks like here, hang on. Here we are. That's Harry. Henry. Is it Henry or Harry Ball? 
It's like Henry Ball. Yeah, this is Henry. Yeah, he looks great. Yeah, it's another ball, but I can't really read it. It's too warm away, yeah. But yeah, this must be where the ball family's buried, the uh, owners of the Borley Rectory before it burned down. I haven't ever done my EVP sessions or any ghost hunting in the daytime before, but as soon as we're here, um, I thought might as well give it a go. Um, trying to get voices on this digital recorder. Hello, my name is Luke and this is Marcus. Is there anyone here with us? If you're here, can you come and talk into this box in my left hand? And shout as loudly as you can. Do you like people coming here? As it got dark, we began our investigation at Borley Churchyard. Unfortunately, we weren't alone, as there were other groups of ghost hunters there with us. But we still did our best to do a ghost hunt like we normally do. What was that? That was his finger. No. Oh, he's moving his finger. You go and touch the grey box, please. Well, it's this green box in my left hand. You will only know if it goes off, because you'll hear it. Yeah. Just try as hard as you can, you can feed off all of our energy. Did it just go off? What? I swear I just saw it go off. What, that? Yeah. No, I just, there was a light flashed around there. Yeah. No, I thought I just saw it. Did you just touch it? If so, can you do it again, please? You can feed off all of our energy, try as hard as you can. We're not here to hurt you in any way. <laughs> Try as hard as you can, please. contact us in any way, just try and make this light flash and then we can try and speak to you. Can you, can you just touch this grey box in my right hand? We can do, we can help you, we can go away, but first we need to just, we just need to know that you're here if you touch this, if you touch this grey box. as hard as you can, just muster all your energy towards this green light in my left hand. It's extremely dark inside the Borley graveyard because there's no extra street lights nearby. Although everything looks lit up, this is only because of the beam from our night vision camera. We weren't receiving any activity, so we decided to go and use the Ouija board. We've come here to talk to you. Um, we've come to try and find out who you are and what you want, whether you need help or something. If you want us to go away, you're going to have to tell us. Luke? Yeah. Does the camera normally go blurry? Yeah. Oh, okay. Nothing strange happened whilst using the board, so we decided to go and use another piece of equipment called a spirit box, which scans through radio frequencies extremely quickly. It said ghosts can use these frequencies to speak to us. Is there anyone in here who wants to talk to us? That was loud. 
Did you just make your voice come through here? Clear. Mark, get the EMF meter. Is that you trying to talk to us just then? If so, we could hear you. <laughs> Did it say go? It says help. I thought help. I heard go. I heard go. You want us to go? Um, stop a second. Oh, sorry. If you want us to go, you're going to have to make us go. I'll oh, press the button. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing was coming through to start with, now there's tons of stuff. There's tons of stuff. There's tons of stuff. Does that say like Ben? I don't have a Ben. Like, what if one dog people called Ben? What's, What's your name? What's your name? This isn't random. <laughs> <laughs> you see the poor horror of my face right now. <laughs> Now we're not asking questions, where's the voices gone? Oh, don't know. Do you remember? You... Can you remember his name? Oh, my God. <laughs> Do you need any help? That's right, yeah. What's this sort of thing? Do you need help? If you want help, we'll give it to you, but you have to ask for it. Are you in pain? What's strange is the last voice we received through the spirit box said bye. Was this a ghost telling us that it was going? A little while later we spoke to some of the other ghost hunters that had come to the graveyard. One of them claimed that she was tapped on the back aggressively a few weeks ago. trying to talk to us. We've just been speaking to someone who said she was tapped on the back by someone here once. That was you. Tell us for here please. Can you say someone's name here, please? Can you touch this grey box? Stop. Whatever it was, it's gone. Right, everyone try and stay still. If you couldn't use that other box to talk to us, maybe you can use this one in my left hand with the red light. Come and shout into this as loud as you can. We might be able to hear your voice. Yeah, that was an old battery anyway. Mm -hmm. If you couldn't use that other box... Shall I start recording? Nah, keep it going. Okay.
Can you see where we're going, Marcus? Yeah, I can. Good. Just warn me if I'm going to walk on the grave, I think. There's a grave right in front of Yes, no, you're fine, you're fine. Oh, did that just go off? No, I don't think so. It looked like it did actually. I thought I seen some yellow light. I wasn't looking. It'll be on camera. <laughs> did you just make that go off? Yes. That went off. That's you making it flash. Can you do it again, please? Can you try and touch the box again for us, please? Just let us know you're still here. Try as hard as you can. Keep trying to touch the box for us. How many of us are in this graveyard now? That little white box that's on the ground, can you walk in front of it and try and turn the light on? What we just caught on camera was very strange. It looks as if a strange mist passes in front of the camera and at the same time the camera goes blurry. Could this be a ghost we just captured on film? Can you walk in front of it and try and turn the light on? Can you walk in front of it and try and turn the light on? Can you walk in front of it Try and turn the light on. What village are we in now? Soon after this we ended our investigation in Borley Churchyard and we can definitely say it lives up to its haunted reputation.